Let me start recording. I am recording. Hey folks. Um, it's Larry here. Yeah, with the. Oh, I forgot to name my own channel. I actually had a request from somebody that watched the, the videos and they wanted to know how, what exactly I was using to make the fire with. Good point. Thank you, Joe. So if the, here's a video of different processes that I use to make my fire starters and if I can find it, I know I have to find it. I know where it is. It's in the car. So a little bit later on, I'll even show you what I use to make my sparks to catch on the, the uh, things. Again, just to make my to make fire. You can get implements that are white, uh, gathered from outside, birch bark and other anything that is quite flammable works. <clears throat> I make these because they're simple. Only cost a couple bucks. You, for about mm, two bucks, you can make quite a few fire starters. God balls. Grant, this big bag, this is about two bucks. A little more than two bucks. I think I got it at Walmart. And then for, and then a couple, two bucks for this, but it still breaks down to about a dollar. And I use one couple bucks. <clears throat> to make these, this is this, this is real simple. It does get messy, but there's a way around that. Get yourself a plastic bag. Just get right in there. Ugh. Scoop out a big old with This big squishy, this is squishy glove. And then you're just gonna take some cotton balls. Throw them right in there. And then I'm gonna throw some of the discs in there too. A little bit later, you'll see what else, uh, what they work for real nice. And then you just close it back up. One advantage to doing it this way is if while you're out and about and for some reason you need a, you know, you, you need just the, the petroleum jelly for a wound of sorts to help keep it cleaned. Well, guess what? You, uh, you're good. Because when you take them out, unless you put more in there, it is quite the sticky mess. But you just pull them apart, and then when you pull it apart, it's still a little dry, and these things can take a spark really quick. Given the fact that I put all those in there, I'm just gonna throw some more in there because I think I grabbed a little too much uh, the petroleum jelly. I'm all lubed up. I'm just going to mush, um, mush these around a little bit. And seeing as how I'm recording on Valentine's Day, one of the other things that I use that uh, I do, can do is using wax. And today I used, oh, I didn't use this down part, it used the up here. Red wax. Now that we've made those simple ones, let's move out to the kitchen and we're going to go use the ones that go to make the ones that are uh, done on the stove top. Okay, so anyway, we're going to be working on the stove part, we're going to be melting down the, um, the petroleum jelly. Mm -hmm. That doesn't take that much. I've already got the cotton balls and the little, um, oh, what the heck was it, the little cotton rounds. And well, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Let's go with a little red wax. It's unscented because let's face it, you don't want any, um, any of those to scent up. Always have a crap pan. This does not get used for food. It gets used for anything else. Oh, wait and hold on. I can't forget to get put the aluminum foil down to let them dry on. If not, makes a mess. And guys, I don't think you want your wives getting mad at you, do you? So we're going to start out with the petroleum jelly. Uh, spatula? Yeah, the hell with it. Nice, good, good dollop. This doesn't take that long to warm up. 
My stove, on the other hand, takes a little while to warm up. It is dang electric. All right, so as you can see, it doesn't take very, let's hold on, let's see if I can kind of, it doesn't take very long to melt down. Get that focus back on there. <clears throat> so what you can do is just take, let's move that. That's gonna melt a little bit more. And, you know, just take the cotton ball. It'll soak, soak right up, but you don't wanna pull it all the way through. It uses a little bit more than the other method, which we, I showed in the beginning where you just mush it all up and together. This one provides a little bit of a longer burn because there's there's more to, for it to melt away. And you end up with less of it on making a mess, which that is always a plus. <clears throat> No, even one of, the, one of the things that you can do, that's gold paint. We're not going to use that. That uh, one thing that you can do, and I'm a little smoking. Let's add a little bit more in there. Don't worry, I'm not going to blow the place up. Let me get my napkin over here. I didn't realize I had the heat up as high. Oh, all right. So we're going to start back over again. And one of the other things that you can even do is while you still have some more of that, you can put in some unscented wax. Now, I do want to find some oil for uh, citronella and put that in within this because let's face it who likes mosquitoes heads up there's smoke in the hallway the alarm may sound it's going Hold on. to be loud smoke alarm silenced in the hallway it's a real fancy uh smoke detector it likes to yell at me for just the smallest little bits Now that you, we've added the uh, little red wax, <clears throat> if I did more, it'd get, naturally it'd get a little bit darker. But it creates a nice little pink. So now you got a little pink pads. And then for these, uh, let's see. Don't want to drip in. You just spread it, up, spread it open shoot your spark right in here and then on the inside is our is nice and saturated so it'll go real slow Let's see what the puff balls look like and i guess you got little pink balls you could have real fun with it get some uh blue unscented wax and make blue balls Um, I see the eyes rolling. Now for just the wax motif, uh, I'm just going to take in the wax candle, tilt it upside down, let it melt down a little bit. Got some more balls, so we'll make some red balls this time because it won't have as much of the petroleum jelly. 
Although I just realized that I need to make the petroleum jelly in the pads. So what I want to do is see which one kind of how they burn and how long they burn. And maybe find more fine more tune it a little bit better. And these ingredients are real cheap. I believe all total right here. That the larger thing of uh, petroleum jelly. It was maybe uh, two, four, and five, five, six dollars or so just for right what's right here. And because uh, I got a large, real large, the large jumbo bag, as you saw earlier. Alrighty, it looks like we got enough wax in there. Take this out, pop it off on the side. Ooh, the furnace down underneath is kicking in. Same process. Just dip it in, except for this one's a lot more red. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but actually it's not too, yeah, it's a little darker, not by much. <clears throat> Let's see how the little balls come out. Well, this would be perfect for um, a Halloween setup. Because that looks like it was uh, used to clean up some blood. You can do a nice little gore theme when, right down to fire starters. What do you know? Alrighty, so now that I'm done in the kitchen. Remember earlier, we made these ones great, mushy, multi-purpose. And let's see how these other ones turned out. <clears throat> no, kind of like a molding uh, wax. But the plus side is, is it's in there. So you just get the this one spot all going. <clears throat> and the fibers are just pull right apart. And that sh should leave, you know, cannot catch on, on uh, keep the fire going. <clears throat> the petroleum ones are a little more denser and these ones will they'll just split and then on the end uh, coated just the outside nicely <clears throat> so as you can see there's still lots of cotton in there to catch at some other point I want to find it figure out which one actually burns the longest and play around with the different combinations of petroleum jelly versus wax and putting in the essential oils. I think that'll help with the skeeters. I think that's it. Is that all I wanted to talk about for this one? Next, next uh, little video that I'll do, I'll explain what I use to get spark these. Use a uh, what's called a ferro rod and a striker, which for me, I can have it. Do I have it on me? Yes. Most of the time, it is just the back end of a of a knife that has a nice little ninety degree angle and just slides it right down. If you've enjoyed what I've done, maybe got a little bit of a laugh, or just want to see what else I'm gonna do. Follow along. If you like it, hit the like. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. It's at least know somebody's watching. If not, well, I still got this out and somebody will come across it at some point. So have fun and get, and get outside. Go. Go. Just stop and go.